Hey guys, I'll show this place at the level of devastation it's in now because I'm just really learning to organize so I don't feel too bad about it. Uh, that's the bed I've been using. I haven't built a bed yet. I'm sure that's on the horizon uh, when I got time. Uh, what I did do is you see these boards that are lined up along here. I told you on the opposite wall from the door I uh, made a mistake. I used uh, one by twos. Uh, in other words, very thin small pieces of board to hold up the paneling and that was not going to work correctly so what I did to correct that was I got some 1x6 and drove the screws all the way through the 1x6 and into the 1x2 so I have two levels of support now and I have something I can actually build on something that's not too weak and broken down uh, I'm just checking my battery down here this is the first day where it's been overcast the entire day but it looks like I'm getting like, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, a suitable charge, not, not high. Uh, what am I getting here? I'm trying to see. Yeah, I'll check that in a second. Uh, but this is the, uh, this is the view screen. It's one of these uh, cheap uh, TFT monitors off of uh, Amazon. And what I did was, uh, and it came with its own, uh, its own connection, uh, uh, video connection. In fact, it's got four video hookups. So you can actually make this a four piece of view and four different camera angles. I've only got one camera angle already and that's out the front window. As you see, this is my front. So I can't see out the front when I'm back here, but now I can. So that's a nice little addition. Uh, see what else? Over here on the opposite side, I'm trying to avoid showing you all the trash areas. I did the same thing on this side and on that side. I, I hooked this little, uh, I call it my flexible chest of drawers up here. And um, and it was beginning to pull out. Now, I'm not just going into the paneling. There's a board back here. You see this board. But it wasn't sufficiently in. So what I did was I put another piece of uh, wood out here. When I bought the uh, 1x6s, I bought plenty. So now I have got these hooked uh, uh, on these. Uh, I need one more piece of wood, by the way. I've got these hooked on. So now they're more secure and more sturdy because they're going through two pretty thick layers of wood with paneling in between. So, uh, you know, that's that's the way things are going now. Uh, today is, uh, this weekend is going to be a little bit of a van uh, maintenance. I'm looking into getting tires all around. I think I've said that before. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else have I planned to do. Oh yeah, and uh, I did I did order three more cameras for this, so I've got to find mount points for those. And some I can point out the window. The one on this side, I can actually point out the passenger side window. I'm trying to avoid just drilling, you know, uh, with honeycomb holes all through the van. So uh, I'm seeing if I can actually put them. For instance, I've got reflectix here sort of cut a gap so at night what I could do is pull this down and then focus the camera out there so I could see out that side uh, on the opposite side it would just be an open it's just an open window you know I, I'm talking about on the passenger side basically over here and I could uh, I could put uh, a camera say in the corner there and then I can see through there so that's my plan for that would be one, two, I got three cameras. Now I've already got a rear view camera, but it's wireless and working off of the front. So I might have to put another wired camera in there. So this, these wires are gonna be all over the place. So it, again, I'm gonna need something to cover them, camouflage them and make them a little bit neater. So I gotta think about that, but I'm just attaching, attacking one problem at a time. So it's just been a very good, uh, Thing. Uh, oh, by the way, the order I'm making is to an Amazon locker. Uh, as an, um, there's an Amazon locker in the vicinity and uh, uh, Whole Foods. I don't know if all the Whole Foods have Amazon lockers, but this is a new one and it does. So uh, I've had it delivered there. And that's not a bad idea at all times if you live in an apartment. Because quite often, at least in my area, the guys who leave the packages are so paranoid in apartments that they don't. So I have to call and request that they deliver the next day and, and leave it at a specific spot. So uh, that's been annoying. So uh, lockers uh, lockers might be all of our futures, unfortunately. All right, uh, that's all I've got right now. I'll be back with uh, some more stuff. I thought I would show you the 
the the architectural things i'm trying not to show you the floor because it is a really holy disaster area uh but one good thing i'll show you a little bit one good thing about this is i can fold this up into a into a corner and i can clean it and then put it back so that's that's what i'll be doing uh probably tomorrow all right that's all i've got i'll be back and i'll tell you more about the progression of the van life the progression of the van now that i've got all of this area where i can actually hang stuff you know what am i going to be putting up there am i going to be putting up more hooks uh more cargo bags or actually putting uh, uh furniture or you know or uh, shelves you know uh you know now i've got a place to put a shelf all right i'll talk to you later you have a wonderful day